Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. This is Alpha 4, Season 4, and this is Episode 3. And I am just waiting for Dawn. Uh, we have a couple hours before Dawn, but I kind of want to go over some things really quick here. Uh, I, know, I think I went over these... I thought I heard it, uh, a hornet. I think I went over some of these uh, ideas that I had last video, but I'm going to go over them again just in case. Uh, the one thing I definitely want to do is I'm going to get a bunch of sand here in the morning, and I'm going to use my wonderful auger to do that. Uh, breaking these things give you a bunch of scrap metal. I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, I only saw four scrap metal there. I thought they gave you six. Not that it really matters, but might as well break them up anyway. They're, they're just in the way. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, two scrap metal that time. That's weird. So I'm not even going to bother breaking down that other one. I will break this thing, though, just to get it out of my way. Alright, and this is going to eventually be an outpost down here. Because I assume I'm going to have to come down here for sand, you know, uh, later on. But, you know, whatever. I don't know if I, I don't know if I showed you how I blocked up my ladder, but uh, they were still climbing up. So I actually shot most of the ladder down. Uh, and I try not to dip my head out there because I don't need to get them any more riled up than they already are. So I did some inventory management. I went ahead and ate, and uh, I'm also going to grab some drink while I'm here. There we go. And let's see if we have some more water. I want to have a full full amount of water in the least amount of inventory possible. Inventory management is becoming a big problem with this game. You know, without for those of you that don't know, back in Alpha 1, you could, you could put down multiple sleeping bags and basically click on one, and a, a circle would come around it. Okay, maybe you can still do it. But you could put down multiple sleeping bags in the game and kind of fast travel. What you could do is you... Right now, I believe, if I suicided... I could basically clear out my entire hotbar, suicide, and then end up all the way in the north. I'm not going to do that, though, because I kind of feel like it's cheap. I honestly didn't think you could anymore. I thought they fixed it, but um, I'm sure they'll eventually fix it, so I'm not going to take advantage of it. So with that said, I'm going to have to come down here for sand and, and more stuff at some point, so I will make somewhat of an outpost down here eventually. But for now, I'm just going to get a bunch of sand and loot the area. Then I'm going to come back up here, stay up here for the rest of the night, and then I will head back up north to our home. I'm trying to think of the best way to get out of here. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to jump out a window. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now, normally I would just melee here, but there's so many guys, I'm not going to play any games. I'm just going to clear it out a little bit first. All right. Taking care of business. <clears throat> now I can melee a bit. I've actually gotten quite good at the meleeing. Uh, I will loot a couple corpses here, but honestly, looting corpses is kind of a waste. Uh, or so I've seen. Now, check this out. This is why I wanted the auger so bad. Just so you guys know how badass this is. Now, check this out. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. And they actually have an animation now to pour the gas in. They, don't, they didn't always used to have that. But uh, check that out, guys. I mean, is that not ridiculous or what? Um, I'm only going to use it a little bit here, though, because I do want to save it because I'm actually going to mine with it. It's actually really good to mine with as well. But uh, I do want to use it on some sand here because it just takes forever to get sand without it. So let's go ahead and use it some more. See how it lags out the screen, too? It's hilarious. It's so beast, it lags out your game. <clears throat> so like I said, guys, if you are playing this game, if you're thinking about getting this game, if you're going to play this game, just remember, uh, get all those oil oil uh, barrels and turn them into gas. Collect as much gas as you can, and then head over to Dyersville. Check every garage, and I guarantee you there's going to be an auger in one of those garages. So I'm going to go ahead and dig some more, and I'll come back once I've got enough sand. All right, well, I got a little bit more sand than I was expecting to, but that's okay. I need I needed a lot of it. But I also got this stuff called sandstone, and sandstone is underneath the sand. You can see some right here. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of that and see what I can do with it. I'm not going to grab too much because I don't really know if I need any of it. But we've got plenty of time. I'm going to actually uh, run around in here and loot a bit. 
So let me uh, let me do that, and I will take you along for this looting excursion, at least for a little while, so you can see what kind of stuff you you can get in here. A rabbit. Where'd he go? Oh well. Oh, okay. I want to. This is what I wanted to show you. Oh, I can't. Well, if you use glass jars in a toilet, you can actually get water out of the toilet. That's what I wanted to show you earlier before I left Dyersville, but I forgot. So that's okay. I'm going to actually just loot up. Oh boy, we're already. Let's uh, let's first of all let's put down our ladders again. Um, we should do that anyway, so we can get back up top. This place is a treasure trove of items. It's really uh. This place actually has a lot of items that are worth getting. That's why we're gonna we're gonna loot on up while we're here before we leave. Oh come on, are you kidding me? Give me a break. You're killing me, game. You're killing me. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore it. I can't, I can't put it there. Oh, did I walk up past Oh, I guess that ladder counts, even though it's sideways. That's interesting. All right, so let's. Uh, that's actually pretty interesting. Um, I don't want to waste auger gas for this. Let me just grab my pickaxe. Oh my goodness! You're just not going to make this easy, are you, game? So anyway, there is a treasure trove of of loot in this place. <clears throat> that's why I'm actually going to loot it. So I'm going to go ahead and loot it, and uh, I will come back when I'm done looting it and I'm up here ready for the night. Because there's, there's actually some things I want to show you. Uh, while I'm up here. So let me go ahead and loot and then I'll come back when I'm ready to show you some stuff. Okay, there's one thing I want to show you really quick. Uh, I've actually run out of storage room up here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a storage chest and that's just six plywood in this kind of shape. So there we go, storage chest. We'll make a, make a few of those. And then we will just... Uh, oh, you can turn them now, which is cool. So I'll just put them right there. So let me uh, just do some inventory management and I'll come back in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I'm still looting. I'm still looting, but uh, it's starting to get dark, so I need to pick it up a bit. Um, what the heck is this? Huh, that's kind of weird. Alright, I didn't get everything, but I got a good amount of stuff. I got most of the stuff I wanted, which is basically just these barrels. So let's get on up top. Uh, there's still a lot more to get here, but I'm not going to get it now. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually head back in the morning. Now, someone did tell me that I didn't have to start a new game for Alpha 4. Uh, they said that they played their game and they had no problems with it. It was, oh, jeez, too much gas. I take that back. You can never have too much gas. So anyway, they said that they played, uh, Alpha 4 and they didn't have, like, to start over anything. And I wasn't really aware of that. But at the same time... It's uh, it's fine. I'm actually, I'm okay with it. But the next update, I'm gonna check and see if I have, if I actually have to restart the game because I'd prefer not to start over if I don't have to. So a little bit of an oversight there for my part, but uh, you know, not really a huge deal. So there, we got a bed. Now I can make this my spawn point, I guess, or I can make this my spawn point. I'm gonna make that my spawn point and just leave it like that. And yes, I just did get a Steam message. Pretty annoying, but you know, that's what I get for not closing out Steam. So, I am going to... There was something I wanted to explain. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and make some more bandages. Um, plant aloe? Aloe cream? Oh, it's with jars, isn't it? All right. I'll use some jars for it. That's fine with me. And then we will make some more bandages like that. There we go. Now, we have a ton of painkillers and bandages, so... We're actually looking pretty good with that stuff. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put that right there. I'll put five down there, and I'll just uh, hold on. How do I want to do this? Yeah, because I, I don't want to keep all 17 bandages on my on my hot bar in case I die. I don't want to drop them and chance losing them all. But uh, five bandages isn't worth as much. Maybe three bandages. There we go. Uh, so that's pretty much all I think I wanted to do here. So I am just going to wait for morning, and during the morning I am going to go all the way back up north to my base. I don't think there's anything else I need. I got the auger, I got the I got the sand, I got a lot of materials. I'm actually going to start fortifying my base. Um, I probably won't even show you the travel because, you know, there's not much point to it. Uh, when I come back at the at the uh, after cutting the video, I don't know why. I was going to say when I come back next video, but no, we still have a good 10 minutes left on this video at least. 
So when I come back, I will be up north and uh, we'll start fortifying our base. So I'll see you guys then. Hey right, guys, I made it through the night and I just jumped down off my building and ran out of there. Didn't even bother killing any zombies and I am heading up north and I just wanted to give you a little update and I'll see you when I'm back at our base. Okay, um, I was just going to head back to my base without stopping for any reason, but there's a lot of cloth in this area that I really can't pass up because I don't think there's going to be a ton of cloth where I'm staying, so I should probably get some now. So I'll show you how to get a bunch of cloth, guys. And it's right here. You just, uh, well, I guess you don't want to use a knife. You could use a gun, but I think the best thing is a pickaxe. Let's see how the pickaxe goes. Yeah, the pickaxe. And... You could just break this out from the bottom just to be quicker. Uh, anytime you break something from the bottom and something falls, it has a percentage of a chance, and it's not a it's not a super high percent. I heard 24%, but I don't know for sure. But when the item that f falls because you cut something off from underneath it, you have a percentage to get a drop from that item, and it, you might not get it. So you, you don't really want to do this a lot, but I'm, I'm just going to do it because I'm kind of in a hurry. And we actually did get quite a bit of cloth from that. That's really good. Because like I said, where I am... Oh boy, I can't hold anymore? What's in the way? What did I pick up? I know I had a spot. I thought I had a spot. Oh boy, this is a tough call. Uh, let's get rid of the... Let's get rid of the books. Um, just because I don't know what else to get rid of. Now, books are really good for making a couple things. And the main thing I want I like to make with them is campfires. But campfires tend to lag me out, so I'm kind of trying to shy away from campfires. But I really want that. All right, I'm going to take a chance and put all my shotgun shells on my hotbar. And let's just hope I don't die. <laughs> so, all right, so that's it for here. We'll just take a quick look around. See if there's anything else here that we can take without a big hassle. Mm, nope. No room for that. No room for that. A lot of sniper shells in this camp. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay. All right. So that was that was a pretty good score. We got a bunch of a bunch of cloth, so that's good. And I'm gonna continue heading up north. So I will see you when I get there, or if I have to stop for some other reason, like I just did. So <laughs> see you then. Okay, I figured something else would come up. Uh, I am actually coming up on a river, and I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and fill my empty jars. There you go. You just right-click, and boom. Full jars of water now. So that's pretty sweet. They used to stack and like, you used to be able to stack them more than five. Like, I used to have jars of water that were, like, 64, like, 64 jars, but uh, they changed it to five to make it more balanced with the rest of the of the water containers that you find in the game. So, what are you gonna do? Okay, and I am back home, and there is a really annoying hornet in here that is just getting on my nerves to no end. So I'm gonna find him and take care of him. Unless he's on the roof. There you are. You've been a real pain in the ass listening to. I was getting so tired of hearing that thing. Now, I am about to starve to death, so let me get inside really quickly and go get some food. I'd actually like to chop down a few trees before I have to get closed in for the night, but we'll see. You guys going to come down here? Want to get stabbed or what? Oh, I stabbed the right now. You know where. All right, I'm really starving now, so let me get in here. Should be some food around here somewhere. There we go. Oh. Oh, whenever you take damage, you uh it takes you out of the inventory screen, so that's kind of annoying. Or it, like if you're looking at a chest or something and you take damage, it pulls you out of the chest. So yeah, no big deal though. Man, there's a lot of them over here. That hunting knife is really powerful. <laughs> Even the shotgun doesn't kill him in one shot. Kill you in one shot, though. Another one? You hear it? I don't see it, but I hear it. You see it? You hear the other hornet? Go 
Gotta take care of him. He's getting on my nerves. Uh, it looks like he's in the wall. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna have to get up there and take care of him. He's really bothering me. I don't like him being in my house either, to be honest. And he's actually in the part of my house that's supposed to be protected. Oh, is he... Oh, I think there's like a some kind of crawl space or something up there. Alright, I'm not going to worry about him for now. What I'm going to do is make some room. Uh, but I don't really have a lot of boxes here to put anything in. Do I have a chainsaw? I thought I had a chainsaw, but maybe not. Alright, let's put some stuff up here for now. And I will use my axe to cut down trees. I was actually going to use the, the chainsaw to cut down trees, but apparently I don't have one, which is fine. I'll take care of that hornet at night. So let's go get some wood, and then uh, we should have some... We put it away. We need some cobblestone, so we could just board up behind us. Um, I thought I had cobblestone. Did I just put it away? Yeah, there it is. Alright, so we need the cobblestone, and we are going to need... Boarded windows. Now, I did leave most of my boarded windows. I left all my boarded windows um, up north, but that's okay. I, I didn't have the room to bring them down here, and, like, it's okay. I'll, I'll just deal with it. Not a big deal. Let's go get some wood. The wood is going to be one thing we're not going to be able to get tonight. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to need a lot of it, but let's just get some anyway. There's no reason not to. The zombies don't seem to know where I am anymore. Uh, I wonder if they put in the update, like, they don't, if they're not looking at you or something, they don't know you're there. I mean, I'd assume they could hear me, but maybe they don't have that mechanic where they can hear you yet. Maybe they can only see you. Because I know that this game's gonna have, this game's got plans for big stealth implementation. Uh, they want you to, they want you to walk around and be sneaky. They want you to be able to get to a point where the zombies don't know where you are. And I'm thinking they've started to implement that, but at the same time, uh, they probably haven't implemented it completely. They could probably see you, but they probably can't hear you. That's what I'm thinking. Because I've run up to a lot of zombies today and stabbed them in the head and nothing happened. Uh, well, they died, but they, they didn't like know I was there until they were dead, and by then it was too late. I really want a chainsaw. I'm not really, like, I don't really think of chainsaws as a big deal, but I kind of wish I grabbed one in Dire Cell. Uh, some people told me in one of my le recent Let's Plays that you can cut the, the, the... Oh, careful there. You can cut the dirt out from underneath the tree, and then the tree will fall, but... And I knew about that. I've known about that for quite a while. I tend not to do it, though, because I kind of feel like it's a little cheap and not the way the game makers intended it. Um, so, I, I... Yeah, I don't use it because of that. So, eventually, probably next day, I am going to solidify the downstairs... And then I can start mining, but I don't have time to do it tonight, so I'm just going to come up here and solidify myself up here. Can I put that there? Hmm. Really, I can't put the stone there. It says I could put it... It says I could put it there, but it's not letting me. That's odd. Oh well, not really a big deal. Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it like that. They couldn't get in last time. I don't think they're going to get in this time. So, the next thing I'm going to need is a place to... Actually, i got to take care of that, that hornet. We only have a couple minutes left on this video, so I was going to pause it, but I think I'll just run out the rest of the video trying to kill this hornet. So, let me grab my axe. Ugh. Why does it do that? Whatever. Alright, now that is, uh... That's not wood up there. That's actually... Mm, I really don't like having to do this, but... I'm getting sick of hearing that hornet. God darn it. Oh, well, whatever. Alright, we're bugged with the ladders again. This happened to me one time before. And the way you fix it is you just log out and log back in. So, let me try that. I actually had this on my last server... Uh, my last Let's Play, 
and I logged out and logged back in and it was fine again. You won't be able to climb ladders. So hopefully that will have fixed it. So let's check it out. Should be able to climb this now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's definitely stone, but whatever. Can I get up here? There we go. Where is he? I, I really shouldn't be up here. This is really stupid. But this thing's pissing me off. Whoa! Oh. Did me a favor. Alright, there's zombies in there. I wonder how they got in there. Um, okay, that's my timer. So let's, uh, let's get down here. And let's block that up because we are not... Shut up, timer. Because we are not ready to deal with this. Okay, we should be pretty safe. I will deal with that area over there at a later date. And uh, there you go. That's going to be it for part or episode three. And I just want to say right now, guys, that I am already farther ahead than I was in season uh, two and three. So we've got we've made a lot of progress here. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's going to be it for episode three. And I'll see you next time for episode four. Till then, take it easy.